to part two of our travel haul. Basically, <laughs> I think I worded that really badly, I apologise. Um, it's been a long morning, I've had a crazy toddler, I've done part one and I'm trying to create a new part two. <laughs> so my head's a bit like, ah, wee. Um, okay, this is our travel haul. All the goodies I have purchased for this holiday. Um, and I have a couple of things that are just super cute and I have to show you. So, um, that I didn't purchase recently. So, anyway, alright. So, I will do the most expensive and the main um, thing that I bought that was pretty much a must have for us. Um, sorry, I'll just go to it so it's just everywhere. Is a tablet. I hope you can see that. Um, now, we had to get a tablet because obviously she's older now. Last time wasn't so bad. Um, so she kind of needs some, you know, something she's familiar with. Um, like her, she loves her movies and stuff. So I thought it was really important to have that so she can, for downtime on the plane, that type of thing, she can just sit and watch a movie. Um, so we have put some um, movies on to the tablet for her. Um, and this is just a cheap tablet. It's not, um, you know, it's just a Lenovo or something. Um, we didn't want to get an Apple or something expensive because it's for her. We don't really use them. Um, so Alex is like, no, get an expensive one, you know, but it's just for her. So, you know, if she breaks or whatever, it's just, it's just a cheap tablet. So not a big deal. Um, this was $148 as well, um, from Officeworks. So yes, um, that is, I need to get a case for it. That's probably another thing we will be purchasing, which probably come next week. I just gotta work out what fits. So that's that, that's a 10 inch. Um, and Alex's brother gave us a smaller one, just in case, <laughs> um, to use for the holiday. So tablet, um, or whatever. Yeah, definitely for a tra uh, traveling with a toddler. It's important. I know. I mean, obviously, we're not taking that if we're going, you know, to in the rainforest or going to the beach and stuff like that. It's only for downtime or on the plane, just to, you know, calm, you know, bring it back into, in the now. Um, in saying that with that, I also got her some cute kids' headphones. How cute are they? They are so cute. They're like little love bites. Because obviously, she's not going to hear on the plane that... It's not very loud. So obviously we've got her some headphones and she can move. They're just so cute. I love them. So in saying that, uh, she does have a bag, um, but I'm thinking if we're going on holiday, it might be a good idea not to have something that's like so bright because her bag is quite bright. Um, if you haven't seen her bag, it is in one of the other vlogs of what I have in my toddler bag. So we went out and we just got one from Kmart. It's just a blue and gold one. And that way Alex is okay wearing it. He's not embarrassed. $8. So yeah, it's nice and big so we can fit like a heap of stuff in there. And obviously we're big on the drink bottles on the side, um, which don't come in with the nice bags that I like to get. But, um, but yeah, it'll do for the holiday. So $8. Great. Um, so what else did we? Just trying to think. We also have towels. This is Olive's mermaid towel. She's had that for a while. We got our towels from Adidas. So that's my towel. Gray and green. Alice has this massive, heavy thing from towel from Adidas. Um, it's actually really nice, but yeah, it's quite heavy. So uh, yes. Uh, also, she has her. Obviously, I'm taking this. Um, she has some super cute thongs that she hasn't worn yet, so I can't wait to put her in them. She's had them for a while, but I haven't really had a chance to kind of put them in, it, in her in them. Um, sorry, I'm just going through, and obviously we're taking her bathers. And her two hats, these are her favourite hats. Go figure. <laughs> They're quite, um, yeah, super hippie and very boho, so um, mother's daughter. So these are the only ones she'll actually wear. Her other cute little ones that fit on her head nicely, she won't keep them on. So we've got the hippie hat and the boho hat. Okay, now the 
most stressful purchases that I got for this holiday um, are these things I'll show you now. And you can what? Stressful? Yes. Um, now, one of those things is super stressful for a mum, definitely. Uh, a self-conscious mum at that. I got some babies. Woo! So, um, I'm very, 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 very fussy with babies. Um, or underwear at all, um, because my boobs are just, uh, and you know, it's, you know, awkward. I usually just wear a black bather top, long, and some black knickers, but they're very nice and comfy and cover things you want them to cover. But I thought, you know what, why not just dive in? We're in Queensland, it's the most relaxed country, country, state. <laughs> Um, in Australia, so I just think, hey, just let it all hang out. <laughs> I did try a few on, um, and these are what I come up with. Um, they just look really pretty, and they suit my hair colour, I think, and skin tone. Um, these are a little bit big, but that's okay. I could probably wear like a sarong or something on the bottom, and the top half. This is like a bra, so I was very, very happy with that, because I like support rather than just the hanging bikini. Um, they did have these beautiful, like, boob lifter things. Nah. <laughs> so, yes, I'm very, very happy with the top. Very happy. Um, it's very supportive and I just, yeah. As a mum, you don't want to be, you know, whatever. So, that's what I got. <laughs> Next stressful purchase, um, which is weird, but it was because I'm a very fussy mum. Um... And I want the best for my daughter um, in the way of, you know, no chemicals, that sort of thing, products. Now, we, talking about this, um, I don't want to talk too much about it, but I usually, um, in, you probably see in my other favorite vegan uh, product vlog, um, I use Melvery uh, products, which is handmade organic. Um, a lot of her products are vegan. I actually got some sunscreen. From her, I hope you could see that. Sorry, I don't know if you. But she's not making it anymore, um, so I'm very upset. Um, we run out. Um, it was pretty much all nat. It, yeah, it was all natural stuff. There was no nasties in it. And sunscreen is very, very hard to get natural. Um, I went into the shop and tried to find something in a normal chemist. Um, there was a couple, one said natural instinct or something, and I was like, oh, lovely. Um, and then look, everything looked fantastic, but I think it had aluminium in it. I'm like, okay, um, definitely no. Um, and then another one, a lot of vegans recommended Natio. Still wasn't 100% sold on the Natio. It just, it didn't really, it wasn't enough for me. Fussy mom, I know. Um, so randomly I thought to myself, well, why don't I just go to um, the health store, which I always go to because it's my favorite store, um, and see if they've got natural sunscreen. Surely enough, they had like five different brands. Uh. So I was stressing over it, researching over it for freaking three days, trying to find natural sunscreen. Just go to Govita. Govita is the health food store in uh, uh, South Australia. I don't know if they're everywhere else, but South Australia, they're definitely here. Um, my favorite store, love it, definitely love it. Um, check it out. So, uh, this is what, sorry, I'll stop rambling. This is what I got. Actually, Alex picked this one out, and I think because it says a bit hippie. Um, I actually liked another one, which was way more natural, but um, it had very, very natural ingredients in it. But anyway, this one is still um, not too bad. So, yeah, and it's vegan, doesn't test on animals. All that good stuff. This was $22. Yes, I know you're going, oh my god, for sunscreen. But I would ha I'd pay $40 for natural sunscreen. I know it's crazy. But I just think there's a lot of nasties in sunscreen. So, yeah, this is what we got. So, I keep rambling about it. But, yeah, a bit hippie. So, um, yeah, it works fine. Uh, we used it the other day when we were in the pool um, at my grand's house. And, or grand's place. And it worked fantastic. I obviously... I missed a bit on my neck so you could see where the sunscreen was and it was like super, super hot that day. You could, you got out the pool and you'd literally be dry and hot in like 10 seconds. So it works. We proved it works. 
So, um, and obviously we have our bags and now I can pack, um, which is exciting. Obviously I'll be super duper ready um, and packed by definitely before we go because um, I'm super excited. <laughs> so I also just wanted to say, um, to me, Gold Coast, Queensland is just, it is a home away from home. For me, I absolutely love it there. Um, Alex only went a couple years ago, a few years ago, his first time, and he fell in love with it. Um, we did go again last year with Olive and my family, and I just, having my family there felt even more at home, and I just, I just love it. Honestly, I just love it. That is why we're going again, um, because it just feels like home away from home. It actually feels better than home. That sounds really weird. So um, yeah, it's it's odd. You kind of have to go there and experience it. But I guess there's something about it that just it draws me in. I guess I don't know. I'm not sure. But this time, I just want to give you guys a heads up. This time we go, we were going for a bit longer, and we're just going to do a lot of looking around because. You know, I think we actually want to end up living there. I'm going to wrap this vlog up. They are the goodies that we got. Um, I thank you so much for watching. If you've watched to the end, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Um, if you like the vlog, thumbs up and hit the notification bells. And you probably, this may be the last vlog. Um, you may not see much else until we go. So you may, may not, I'm not sure. But yeah, so please stay tuned. I just love watching travel vlogs and stuff. It just feels like you're there. Um, and yeah, and that way you can, we can do that for you guys. You can see it through our eyes and feel like you're there. Well, I hope so anyway. So I will get going guys. We're so, so excited. We're gonna go pack now. I'm so excited. Oh, anyway, we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.